Hey everybody, I'm really excited right now. I'm um, viewing Pixelogic's uh, website and I'm learning more about how to use the new ZBrush 4 uh, R4. Um, and I just before I forget how to do this, I'm going to show you guys how to do it or what I was just taught. I, I'm not done with the video that they're showing me, but I, I just wanted to relay this information just so it like. Uh, like sinks in my head and stuff. Okay, so I, this is a, a brand new um, ZBrush document, and uh, the guy that is teaching me right now just suggested to open your brushes palette, and you know move it to one side, and then your st uh, stroke palette. Okay, so those two, right? Okay, then in let's see, no, uh, stroke, uh, open up um, curve, curve functions and modifiers, so curve, curve functions, curve modifiers, now those those are all grayed out because you don't have anything going right now, so let's create a new sphere and let's um, let's make something, um, I don't know, holiday something Okay, oh, and I learned how to open up the uh, brushes palette a lot easier, right? I've taught how you push spacebar, then click on the brushes palette, and then, you know, type in the numbers, like C and uh, uh, B, which would be clay buildup, giving, giving you the clay buildup brush, which is really handy. Um, but if you just use the keyboard and you push B for brushes, I don't think, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but... Okay, that brings up your brushes palette, and then you can press CB. That was the brush that we were just using, so that's the one it would select. But let's try uh, B, and then um, let's see, where's the. I don't know. Oh, yeah, move. Okay, uh, MV. So let's B to back out of that, then B, and then MV to give me the move brush, right? That's the one I want. Now, let's adjust this a little bit and then control click and drag to uh, dynamesh it which is really really nice okay All right oh, let's see clay build up lower the intensity blah too big Uh, let's see. What am I making here? Okay, MV, move, and then X to deactivate symmetry. Um, now, don't worry about all this craziness because I'm, you know, that obviously needs some work done and that will be fairly easy to do. Okay, then inflate. So uh, let's try this. B, I, N, I, N. Inflate, yay. Lower the intensity. Right, okay. That, I don't know. That looks like, um, kind of what I'm going for. Nice. Okay, that that's good. Um, now just, now let's, I don't know. Right, okay. Now let's make the base material, um, whatever it is right now. Or, no, no, sorry. Um, yeah, basic material. Yeah, changes that to basic material. And then color, fill object, making sure just this is on material. Color, fill object. Okay, that wipes out the color. 
but then you quickly just go over to RGB and fill object okay that that works now let's change this to white and turn perspective mode off just so we have a nice you know flat view of this object and let's do this mm, yeah and then change this so it I don't know that and then uh, yeah okay yeah, yeah that worked change that to that um yeah that, that that's good okay no that didn't work it needs to be better okay that works okay that that's good for my example now I've chosen white so then um control click outside to invert those colors then color making sure RGB is on color fill object which gives us a candy cane okay now that that's what I want to use now let's go back to the brushes and stroke palette and let's this is really handy I'm gonna use this more and I'm gonna learn all about it learn more about it and things like that but let's um, turn on curve mode under curve curve mode okay good now wait no hold on let's illustrate this a little bit um, let's change this candy cane thing into an insert mesh which gives us an additional brush right over here for this project yeah, we can append it to I don't know what that means or create a new brush which is what I was just saying so just like I said it made a new brush now okay so then let's go back to curve curve mode no not oh, sorry hold on <laughs> okay I've got the candy cane selected so when I try and um why isn't the color working I'll worry about that later when I click and drag it it creates this just like it would any other object and stuff which is handy but for this example uh, turn curve mode on okay and then it drags out a and then you can just draw out a line just like that nice and let go and it creates candy canes based on the line you just made and you can click anywhere along that line and modify it isn't that so cool fancy fancy I'm, I'm really loving the way that works um, and let's see the brush size is too big so um, shrink this brush size just a little bit or a whole bunch uh, that's a good size and click the end and then it makes those candy canes really really tiny fancy fancy and then you can move it around wherever you want to and wrap it around objects so yeah bend let's say oh, let's turn, turn both of these off so now it just drags out whatever you have and probably would yeah just it makes everything stiff and not fun so bend gives you the option to bend it around wherever you want to and move it around your screen wherever it needs to go okay that, that's nice totally ignoring all the other geometry and things like that and snap snaps to whatever objects you have in your scene so to demonstrate let's click anywhere and drag just like we were with bend and then and th when it hit, gets close to an object it starts to wrap around that object isn't that so cool wow so fancy if you wanted to do this otherwise this would take you a long time I'm so excited neat cool okay or or you can just ignore what you've made and click elsewhere to make a new selection right this is what I really wanted all my life I've been looking for this line right here ta-da it looks pretty crazy but then you can take any part of that and 
move it along the... Oh, I drew out another line. Oh! Yeah, I don't know. I'm still working out the kinks and stuff, but this is so fancy. Um, now that's pretty crazy, but I'm going to quickly just make a... I don't know, wavy line. Just like that, and that should create a new thing. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Um, let's see, how can I get rid of that? Oh, did it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's control Z a few times. Z, Z, okay. Now, click. Right, okay. Now, now let's draw that little wavy line that I was thinking about earlier. Oh, that's why I didn't do it. See, this this would create a line, right? A separate line. But if I created another line right here, this would create a new path. If, as long as I don't touch the other path that I have made. So if I let go right now, it will create that path that I'm making. Yeah, just like that. But if I do this, you know, this is not going to create anything, and it will modify the old one because it is intersecting the, yeah, that, wow, I sound like a mad scientist. See? Just like that. So this will mess up this. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's just drag out like that, and then increase the brush size to like that, and then shift click to make that straight and then get out my fancy pen pen brush and draw out the best line anyone has ever seen okay here we go click fancy line oh no more space that sucks well I'll, I'll do it a little faster yay ta-da now I've got bend and snap on, so that should, you know, be pretty close to the surface. Or I can move it along. Isn't that so cool? It, okay, let's. Nice. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, isn't that so cool? Fancy, fancy. Um, I've got Photoshop and 3ds Max and a few other 3D programs, but this is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, everybody, um, let's recap real quickly. So new scene, uh, sphere, whatever. Okay, now let's make this a brush. So create insert mesh, yes, new brush, and then turn under stroke, turn curve mode, curve mode, and then keep bend and snap on. So yeah, that will create a line, and let's make a little happy face. Happy, happy, stop, because it's on symmetry, so it'll just mirror over. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? Fancy, I'm loving this new feature. I'm so glad I got this latest update of ZBrush, ZBrush 4, Release 4. And anybody who, anybody who uses ZBrush, go download this latest update because it's so fantastic and everybody should use it. And wow. Yeah, okay. Bye.